how to choose a solar panel in Australia in 2023. Solar salespeople can throw so much panel jargon at you, it'll make your head spin. Would you like half-cut, monocrystalline, N-type, black frame panels? They're way better than that other company's shingled, multi-crystalline, P-type, silver frame panels. You're not an expert. How should you know which panels are good and which ones are lemons? That's where I come in. I'm Finn Peacock, a chartered electrical engineer and the founder of Solar Quotes. I'm here to tell you that there's no need to get stuck in the weeds comparing the finer points of this panel versus that panel. You just need to pick a reputable brand. The difference in performance or lifespan between good brands is really quite marginal. With my 14 years of experience in the solar industry, I've put together this chart. It shows all the brands of solar panels that I'd be happy to have on my roof, sorted from budget end to premium end. I'll say that again, I would be happy to have any of these brands on my roof. The ones on the left are for the more budget conscious buyer and the ones on the right are for people that don't mind spending extra to get slightly high performance, lower degradation and sometimes longer product warranties. You can always find the most up-to-date version of this chart in my Solar 101 guide, which I've linked to in the description. If you're looking to go deeper, one thing you can compare is the product warranty. What you might not know is solar panels come with two sets of warranties. There's the performance warranty, which is always at least 25 years and is more or less worthless, and the product warranty, which is the real warranty. Performance warranties guarantee that your solar panel performance will not degrade more than a certain amount per year. All solar panels degrade in performance over time, around half a percent per year for budget brands, maybe 0.3 of a percent per year for the higher end brands. I call performance warranties worthless because it's easy for manufacturers to try and wriggle out of them and claim any issues with your panels fall under the usually shorter product warranty. And even if you can prove that it's a performance warranty claim, the compensation you're entitled to is stingy. That's why you should be looking at what product warranty is offered with a solar panel, as that's the one you will rely on if things go pear-shaped. Once upon a time, most panels came with a 10-year warranty, with only a handful of super high-end brands offering a 25-year product warranty. Nowadays, many budget brands are offering 20 or 25-year product warranties. The SunPower brand even offers a 40-year product warranty, if you can afford their panels. I'll finish by addressing something you might have heard of, tier one solar panels. Tier one is an industry ranking scheme which banks use to decide if they trust a brand enough to finance multi-million dollar solar farms which use those panels. While bankability is a proxy for quality, tier one status does not automatically mean a panel is good quality. There are several tier one brands that I would not buy for my home. And there are some good brands out there that are not tier one like the Australian made Tindo panels. So. At the end of the day, don't worry too much about getting the perfect solar panel. Think about whether you want a budget or a top end system and then use the chart I showed earlier to choose a brand from the relevant side. If you're considering solar and don't know who to trust, my website, Solar Quotes, makes it easy to get up to three free quotes from installers I have personally vetted and trust. Just visit solarquotes.com.au, pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching.